Most of us already know that what you eat plays an important role in how fast you age. But what if how you eat matters too? Today I'm going over scientific studies on how your diet, even if it's otherwise healthy, might be aging you faster. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time research scientist with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. Today I will be talking about biological aging, specifically in terms of how well your body is able to repair and maintain your DNA. And specifically, I will be focusing on telomeres, which are essentially the cap on the end of your DNA that keeps it healthy and functional. Shorter telomeres are a marker of biological aging, which generally means shorter lifespan, looking and feeling older even for the same age, more chronic disease, and all sorts of bad outcomes. So generally, we want longer telomeres. And I've already talked about how what you eat affects telomere length in a past video here, which you should check out after this one if you're interested. And usually on this channel, I like to make videos focusing on randomized controlled trials and especially meta-analyses because those are the most solid evidence we've got pretty much. But I also do sometimes have fun going over bleeding edge type stuff that pretty much no one has ever heard of. And this is definitely in that bleeding edge category, which is a category that won in kind of a landslide in a recent poll here on YouTube. So just to start with a little bit of background, there are at least a few different approaches to healthy eating or eating less. And one of those approaches is a gentle, moderate approach where you try to eat healthy or try to do some portion control or something without being really strict or really hard on yourself. So a nice gentle approach to healthy eating. Another approach is I think a pretty rare one where people are able to super strictly control everything they eat and easily stick to that without having it stress them out or without it really causing them any problems. So super strict, naturally disciplined adherence. And the third category that I think includes a lot more people than that second category is those of us who try really hard to control our diets and eat a really strict healthy diet or a strict amount of calories or something like that, but really struggle to actually stick to it and it causes us stress and we often slip up. And I say we because I was in this category for most of my life until the last few years, as you may already know if you've watched my past videos. And today's studies focus on how these different approaches to eating actually predict telomere length. And I want to clarify early on that I say predict because these are correlational and in one case kind of a longitudinal study, not a randomized controlled trial changing how people eat. And the first study focused on dietary restraint, which is essentially that last category I just told you about where people are really trying to control what they're eating or how much they're eating, but struggle with it and often find themselves slipping up and feeling bad about it. And this study found that people who fall into this category in terms of their scores on a dietary restraint scale tend to have shorter telomeres, so tend to show faster biological aging. So for example, a 50 year old who's really trying to strictly control their diet might have a biological age closer to 60. And this relationship was found in both young people and old people in terms of their actual age. And it also held when controlling for BMI, so it wasn't driven by body weight differences or actual age differences. And it also wasn't driven by other types of negative eating behaviors like emotional eating. So what could this be driven by? Why would being super strict with your diet make you have shorter telomeres and make you biologically age faster? Well, a second study tried to answer this question by looking at a bunch of other factors in addition to dietary restraint. So they looked at stress and cortisol and anxiety and dietary fat intake. And rather than looking at telomeres, this study focused on telomerase, which is an enzyme that helps lengthen your telomeres. So we want higher telomerase. And the reason for looking at telomerase instead of telomeres is that telomerase has short-term fluctuations. So it's a nice way to be able to look at the quick effects or the acute effects of how these different factors might be influencing telomeres in the long term. And like the last telomere length study, this study found that people who were higher in dietary restraint, so really trying to strictly control their diets, had lower levels of telomerase. So they had lower levels of this nice enzyme and therefore had faster aging. And unsurprisingly, given what we know about how stress tends to age us faster, they found that having higher anxiety, higher stress, and higher cortisol all predicted separately lower telomerase. So less of this nice enzyme that helps keep your telomeres long. But interestingly, stress or anxiety or cortisol could not explain any of the relationship between dietary restraint and telomerase. 
However, one other factor that I mentioned that they looked at was dietary fat. And they found that people who ate more dietary fat in terms of as a percentage of their total calories eaten had lower telomerase. So higher dietary fat predicted this marker of faster aging. And even more interestingly, they found that the relationship between dietary restraint and telomerase was partly explained by dietary fat. And specifically, they found that when people had more dietary restraint, they tended to eat more fat as a percentage of their diet. And that increase in fat eating from dietary restraint actually drove part of the telomerase decrease, so part of the faster aging. So what the heck does this mean? Why would having a stricter control of your diet make you eat a higher percentage of fat? And why would that lead to decreases in telomerase and therefore faster biological aging? Well, one possibility is that when people have high dietary restraint and are really trying to strictly control their diet, they might be cutting out carbs as part of their dieting efforts. Or conversely, for the people who are trying to be strict and really struggling, which is one aspect of dietary restraint, they might be binging on high fat meals and therefore increasing the total percentage of their calories that are coming from fat. And that increase in fat seems to, for whatever reason, be predicting a decrease in telomerase, so a acceleration of biological aging. And I do want to note that this does not necessarily apply to ultra low fat versus low fat versus moderate fat, because this study mostly included people who were eating somewhere above 28% fat, so moderate to high levels of fat. So what this implies is that if you are already eating a moderate or high amount of fat, adding more fat seems to be related to having lower telomerase. And this could be through inflammation because it is known that some types of fat like saturated fat cause inflammation, especially in your brain. However, it seems really unlikely that fat is the sole reason why dietary restraint predicts telomerase. The authors say that another possible pathway that really trying to be strict with your diet might predict faster aging is that having periods of overeating, alternating with undereating, as well as periods where you drastically change up your diet could lead to what they called metabolic strain, which they say could potentially cause decreases in telomerase and decreases in telomere length. And it's also well established, as I said, that having more stress, especially chronic stress, can lead to faster biological aging. And even though this study didn't find that stress mediated the relationship between dietary restraint and telomerase, it is still possible that other types of stress that they didn't measure might be the reason why dietary restraint could lead to faster biological aging, or at least one of the reasons in addition to fat. So trying to strictly control your diet and struggling is definitely a source of stress and generally want to avoid stress if you want to age slower. So what these studies suggest is that having a super strict healthy diet might not actually be the best way to slow down aging. Rather, it suggests taking a more moderate approach and doing intuitive eating with a focus on healthy foods that are low in fat or have a moderate fat level might be the best approach. And if you are a longtime follower, then you know that this is my approach and that I'm really into intuitive eating and that there's a lot of studies suggesting it can work really well, both for healthy eating and for weight loss when it is approached correctly. If you're interested in that, I have a ton of videos on that, many of which are in this playlist. And I also want to note that these studies were done in women, but there's no clear reason to expect that things would be different in men because the vast majority of the time, effects like this apply to both sexes. In particular, it's known that stress is going to be bad for aging in both men and women. And to the extent that really trying to strictly control your diet and failing and struggling and stressing over it increases your stress, then that's a pretty obvious reason why having a strict diet would age you faster. If you want to help support me in making videos, then head on over to my Patreon or my GoFundMe, which are linked in the description below. On the Patreon, you can get bonus content and the ability to make research requests of your own and the ability to vote on video topics before they come out and more. So if you're interested in that, head over there. And then the GoFundMe is if you feel like making a donation just to support me, which I very, very much appreciate. If you like this video, please like it and share it so other people can get this information. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay up to date on all these studies. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.